is Transformers 96 here in the video review. This time we have my first reveal from the Marvel Legends, the uh, first 10 years series of figures being Red Skull in the single carded um, set. So yeah, so this was something I was very much looking forward to. I'm really happy about this new line. I've made many videos about it, talking about the figures as they were shown. Now they're finally starting to come out. I picked up a Red Skull as well as the Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket 2 pack on... Um, on uh, Hasbro's website when they came in stock and they just arrived so I'm very happy to have them. Uh, now let's go over the Red Skull figure. So before we go over the actual figure let's just take a look at his packaging as it is a new style of packaging because this is a new kind of style of series. You have Red Skull, little Captain America logo there and then on the side you get just some information about the Captain America the First Avenger. On the back a little information about Red Skull as well as a picture of the character himself. On the side you have some kind of concept art uh, from um, Captain America. The concept art on the side of the packages do seem to be customized to whatever um, movie it's from, because uh, on the Ant-Man set, of course, the concept art is all Ant-Man themed, and even on the inside you have concept art from just all the MCU movies. So Red Skull's a villain that I really much, I, I really love, and uh, of course very disappointed that we never had a 6 inch Marvel Legends scale version of him, so now we finally have one which is incredibly exciting. They are coming out with another one too for San Diego Comic Con, I do plan to purchase that one as long as I'm able to the morning of when it's released. Um, but yeah, so going over the actual figure here, uh, you do have the option of turning this into a Red Skull figure or a uh, Hydra Soldier figure, and I will show you the Hydra Soldier options. The Red Skull head that you get though is really nice, I do like it. Uh, I love the dark red and then the black that's been washed in there, which really brings out all the detail in his bony features of his face, which I really like. And then uh, his expression, I think, is really well captured. He has, like, a, a really devilish um, uh, scowl uh, with, like, just his teeth showing, which is a very Red Skull type of position, which I think looks very cool. Um, his left pupil is a little more forward than the than the other one is. I wish they, they look a little bit off. I wish that the left pupil was a little bit more matching the right one so that it was kind of looking up because uh, the one over here looks really good. This one is a little off though I feel like. Um, his costume is quite nice. This is the green type of uniform which he wears uh, a he really only wears this at the end, to be honest. The majority of the movie, he does have the black trench coat on, and I prefer the black trench coat. That's the version that's the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, so uh, I am very much looking forward to picking that up. Um, you do also get this weapon, of course, this is your standard Hydra Soldier uh, blaster, uh, and he does use this in the movie. He uses it twice. He kills some soldiers with it towards the end of the movie, and then he fights Captain America with it at the end of the movie as well, so he does use this. It's not your signature... Um, um, Red Skull weapon though. I wish that this figure came with his uh, pistol because uh, that's something that he uses throughout the movie uh, and of course he doesn't have it here which is very disappointing um, considering it would just it would fit the character a bit better. But his uniform is really nice. I like the dark green and then the red kind of lining throughout it is painted really nicely. It's all very straight and very even which is very impressive considering how small it is and the uh, Hydra logo is actually like printed on there and so is the red lining. It's all it's all um, sculpted. It's not just painted which is very nice. I'm happy about that. The buttons look good. You have a little bit of red above that one button but other than that it's very nice. The belt has the Hydra soldier, um, or sorry, the Hydra symbol sculpted into it, and the boots look very nice, and they are a nice gloss to them. The, the boots and gloves have a gloss, which I think looks really good. And just the figure in general, I think it looks excellent. It's really well done. I mean, other than that little red uh, splotch there, the paint is excellent on this, which I am very happy about, and uh, I think he looks very cool. Going over articulation, he has a ball joint head, a ball hinge head, so it can look up very far, and it can look down very far as well, and of course I decide ball hinge shoulders with a bicep swivel. Unfortunately, just based on his kind of oval proportions of his bicep, when you have it tilted this way, you do have a fair amount that comes over uh, what it should. It's not rounded enough that it wouldn't be seen, so that is kind of annoying, especially if you have his arm kind of behind his back. It looks a little odd, because that's kind of the position that I like to keep him in. He has double hinge elbows, hinge swivel uh, wrist, a ball joint upper torso, which has a fair amount of range. Then you do also have a swivel at the waist, too. A little unnecessary, but hey, you know, it's welcome. He has a ball jointed hip, which uh, this is soft enough uh, rubber that it doesn't hinder the articulation whatsoever, which is nice. It uh, can go out this far as well. The, the hip articulation is actually like really good on this figure. That's very intense, I must say. Um, and then he has a bicep, or sorry, thigh swivel, double hinge knees, and then hinge pivoting ankles, which work quite nicely. So his range is very good as well. Uh, really, it's pretty perfect range-wise, which is nice. Giving you um, a little look at some of the other uh, options that you can have the uh, this figure into as far as the other Hydra soldiers. 
So here's the first helmet option. This is the one that, if I'm not mistaken, this is the pilot, uh, the Hydra Soldier pilot helmets. These are the, like, there's four of these characters at the final battle that are preparing to board the bombs that are going to bomb the, um, uh, the major, like, cities. Uh, so I believe that that's what this helmet is from, which I think is very cool considering we don't really have any other representation of the style of Hydra Soldier. I don't think any other company has ever made, uh, this, this version, uh, in toy form, which I think is very cool. Um, they don't really use weapons. I believe one of them had like a knife that he fights Captain America with, uh, but we really haven't seen any of the Hydra soldiers uh, of this caliber were or use like guns or anything. Um, but he does have the vest, of course. This vest kind of helps you uh, see the differences between this one and the other one. And uh, sorry, between this one and um, uh, the Red Skull. Basically, the, the vest kind of helps it a little bit. Overall, I do think it's cool. Although I don't think that the the Hydra soldiers, their arms, I don't think that they're quite like this, where they're just kind of like. Uh, um, I, I think they're more skin tight, more military type of looking rather than kind of commander which is more of what uh, uh, Red Skull is all about so I, I feel like the the design is very close but it's not quite accurate I think the torso and the legs are very accurate but the um, the arms I don't believe that they look quite like this in the movie for any of the Hydra soldiers and I believe that the Hydra soldiers also have like a little thing that swoops down uh, and it just kind of is like here like a little mechanical piece um, ammo pack that kind of swoops down that goes down their arm uh, which is of course missing from these which is a little bit of a disappointment but there's the pilot and then you can exchange it to the first version of Hydra Soldier. I'm not sure what the differences are between those, the other two. They're both just soldiers, I know that. Uh, but both the three and three quarter inch versions and this one, you know, come with uh, kind of both versions. So I'm not quite sure if one's used in specific locations or not in the movie. Uh, but overall, it does look very nice. Now, three and three quarter inch wise, I like this style of helmet better. However, on the six inch versions, I like the other one a little bit better. But just to give you a look at them uh, with weapons because of course these Hydra soldiers are the ones that are just like the, the complete just soldiers on the ground that would use the weapons. So as you can see you can get them to hold it with two hands very nicely and it looks very cool. I, I do definitely like it a lot. Again I don't think that the arms, the sleeves are necessarily accurate uh, but I do think that it does look quite nice. And switching it off to the last version, which is my favorite version just from the Hydra soldiers. Although, personally, I think that the Red Skull one looks the best. However, if I do end up getting the um, Comic-Con exclusive one, I'm not quite sure. I might keep uh, this uh, figure in the Hydra soldier, you know, like setting, considering I'll have a Red Skull then already. But just, oh, I see, I, I'm, I've got the wrong hand on too. So, yeah, there are two hands. There's this one, which is a little wider, uh, which can be used to kind of hold the, or not, not completely well, but it can be used to kind of prop up just the base of the weapon. And then there's also a smaller one, which is more for specifically holding the handle, and that holds the handle very nicely. I was wondering, because it felt like it just wasn't holding it very nicely. But, yeah, um, I, I prefer, this is my favorite version of the Hydra Soldier from the versions that we have. So I think that this does look quite cool. And then let's give you a comparison now. So here's a group comparison with all the MCU villains. And when I say all this kind of is really all of them, um, I even went with some of the ones that are a little questionable, such as the Winter Soldier and Nebula. I even throw uh, Mordo in there just for good measure, considering he uh, it looks like he may be a villain in the future. So yeah, so, uh, so it looks really cool to have all the MCU villains together. Again, I'm a big Marvel villain fan, um, so just this line is perfect for me, and I'm so happy to be able to grow this uh, set of villains. And uh, there's certain a lot more to get. Um, I think that I'll probably do another like just like a video on its own of all the villains compared together once I get the next three which are uh, Mandarin, Crossbones, and um, um, oh, Ronan and as well as once I complete the Obs uh, Obsidian Build-A-Figure then I'll probably just do a, a big old video just talking about all the Marvel Legends MCU villains. But as you can see um, the two new additions Red Skull and Yellow Jacket fit in perfectly with this lineup. So happy to have them and this, the villains look super cool together. As you can see most of these figures are really modern because they haven't, they, they're just now starting to make the MCU villains uh, which is great and I'm very happy to uh, that they're continuing it especially with the 10 year anniversary line going back and doing some of the ones that they haven't done before. It's just wonderful. So there you go. So there's a, a nice little comparison of all the MCU villains together. 
So overall, I really like this Red Skull figure. I think it's quite excellent. I'm very impressed with the paint and sculpt of it, and I do like the options as far as how you can display it. This is obviously a figure that is completely meant for army building, and therefore I think it's going to be one of the more popular ones of the series. I know on Hasbro's, .com, on Hasbro's website, uh, out of the ones that they put on um, in stock, they all have all stayed in stock as of me filming this, except for Red Skull. Red Skull keeps switching from in stock to out of stock to in stock to out of stock, so uh, he keeps, uh, you know, going back and forth and I definitely think that it's because a lot of people won't just buy one but they'll buy a couple of this guy because you can make them uh, you know Red Skull and the Hydra soldiers of course I uh, just so if you want to see here's a little look at the original Captain America from the first movie on um, the Marvel Legends series one and they're actually really in good scale I always thought that that Captain America was really short so I'm surprised that they're in this good of a scale unless because I mean in the movie when they're looking face to face at each other they look about the same height so uh, this is this is perfect but I always thought that this figure was a little small, so I do think it's interesting that they're both still in scale. But yeah, overall, I absolutely love this Red Skull figure, and I'm uh, very happy with it. Again, probably will turn it into a um, Hydra Soldier once I get the Comic-Con exclusive one, because I'm very excited for that one. So stay tuned for my review of that, assuming I'm able to get one. And of course, I'll be reviewing the Ant-Man set as well, and all the other sets that I get, because I'm really enjoying this line in general. So let me know what you guys think of the figure, and thanks so much for watching.